Are you sick of these ugly, outdated helmets? Mm. Then look no further to our new state-of-the-art helmets. These state-of-the-art helmets have changed my life for the better. In fact, I feel invincible when I'm on the road. Call 1-800-HELMETS and place your order. The unfortunate truth is, even the best helmets can't protect you from the dangers of the road. Stay aware and stay safe. Yes, you definitely need to be careful when you're biking on the road. I totally agree. Good morning, Coyotes, and welcome back to this week's edition of Good Morning Castig. My name is Dylan Silvera, and I'm here with... Jackson Sigmund. And Alexis Candiani. Today we have some awesome segments for you, including What's Trending with Rashab, a spotlight on Colton Kim, and announcements with Basti. So get ready, because Good Morning Castig starts right, right now. now. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Good morning, Coyotes, and welcome back. Before we get started with the rest of this week's episode, let's send it to Jacob and Haley with an important announcement regarding senior video. Hey Coyotes, we're calling all seniors. I'm Jacob. And I'm Haley. We need your help for the class of 2024 senior video. That's right, we're asking you to send in any pictures or videos you have from any events from the course of this year. Please use this QR code to submit your pictures or DM them to us on our Instagram at GoodMorningCastaic. We're so excited to make this video to remember the last four years together. Thanks guys. Now back to the hosts. Thank you so much Jacob and Haley for that important announcement. Now let's move on with the rest of our show. On this week's episode, we will be discussing our OK and No Way for this week. Personally, my OK is STN. And you guys know about it, but if you guys don't, STN is the Student Television Network, which is a five-day convention for all the GMC students where we all get to come together and do fun content, video contests, like participate in workshops to kind of increase our knowledge of video production and that field of film. And I'm really excited because I love like working under pressure. So you ha we have these like time limits to you know make these projects get done. And I feel like it's so much more rewarding when you're yeah. more stressed out during the project. <laughs> Even though it may be stressful while you're working on it. Mm -hmm. But uh, my no way is people hating on the Tesla Cybertruck. It's not that bad. I swear I've gotten in so many arguments about it. I mean, it, sure, it might not be the most functional car ever. You know, it may, yeah. it may be a little sharp on some of the edges, but um, <laughs> I think it's just such a unique design that I've never seen before that I really like, I, I love to see it on the roads. It's so mm -hmm. cool, mm -hmm. but yeah. yeah. My OK is new Fortnite is coming up. It's Green Mythology, <laughs> so Hades, Poseidon is gonna be in it. And I cannot wait for that, it's gonna be so exciting. Yeah. So my no way is waking up early for win because teachers and uh, staff might not feel like they're getting paid enough. So exactly. I hope they get paid and they give compensation for that. Cause, Thank yeah. you. Definitely. My OK is being woken up to in a day because I know that God woke me up and you guys up because um, we're meant to be here. We're meant to be here <laughs> and, you know, have a good day. Yeah. And my no way is waking up early because I don't like having heavy eye bags and... Um, being exhausted. Yeah, being day. exhausted <laughs> from the last <laughs> night. <laughs> but, yeah. 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 I agree. W waking up early sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, let's take it to Bassi with this week's announcements. Bassi? Thank you, host. Now, here are your announcements for this week. To start, we have the Heart District Student Art Exhibition featuring artwork by students from Hart, Saugus, and Castaic High School. The exhibition will be held March 18th at the Center at Center Point Parkway with all proceeds going to student artists. Ninth and 10th graders are also invited to attend Castaic's ADG Requirement Information Night this Wednesday, March 13th at 6 p.m. in the CHS PAC. The Information Night will cover the requirements needed to apply for different universities as well as more important information. Juniors and seniors are also invited to participate in the presentation from Grand Canyon University. For seniors, the presentation will take place March 13th from 9.45 a.m. to 10.25 a.m. in room 520. For juniors, the presentation will be on March 13th from 11.45 to 12.20 p.m. during period 4 in room 520. Sign up at the counseling office today. And lastly, the Armed with Services Vocational Aptitude Battery is being offered at room 632 at March 20 at 9 a.m. For those interested in learning about a military position, sign up today at the counseling office. Well, those are all your announcements for this week. Now, let's send it back to the hosts. Thank you, Basti, for those announcements. 
Janelle Estrella and I had the chance to speak with Colton Kim about his high school experience and how it helped him get a full ride scholarship to MIT. Let's check it out. Like three, three, take two. <laughs> uh, hi, my name is Colton Kim and I'm a senior at Castaic High School. Uh, so I applied through QuestBridge, which is uh, another type of application separate from like the Common App, a binding, it's like early decision basically, yeah. So it was in Mr. On's econ class and I kind of just checked it on my phone. So when I saw it, I was like, you know, shocked that I got into college, right? Because I didn't know where at the time. The desk stood up and said, Mr. On, I got into college. My phone again and it says MIT or Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Ms. Song gave me an like, amazing opportunity to do lab research at UCLA with a professor that she knew. And so that was also like a wonderful experiment, experience, not experiment, uh, experience that I got to partake in. I think the most memorable experiments for me uh, would probably be Science Olympiad. You know, starting a new club as so many others at the school have. And Definitely thank my mom. She's just been the one who always was there to like push me and encourage me and person who I saw always in my life who was simultaneously both loving and caring and yet you know such a hard worker and then so I think that was just my biggest inspiration. My biggest piece of advice would just be try your best. Just always put 100% effort in and really do everything you can to never regret what you could have done better. You know, high school only happens once. And also, when it comes to like balancing school and social life, you know, school is important, college is important, and don't stress too much about it. You might think at this moment that this one grade or this one class is going to determine your future, but in all reality, it's just such a small fraction of your overall application. Like, but not only your application, but your entire life. And don't like work yourself to the bone trying to focus on academics, but you know, balance it pretty well. Wow, that really is amazing. Congratulations, Colin, on your acceptance to MIT. Now, let's hand it over to Rashab with What's Trending. Rashab? Thank you, Jackson. I'm Rashab Krishna, and here's What's Trending. The highly anticipated Dune 2 was a massive success on its opening weekend, making over $80 million in the nation and almost $180 million worldwide. The movie just barely surpassed Oppenheimer in terms of opening weekend earnings. In other news, the Avatar The Last Airbender live-action TV show remake was received with mixed feelings from fans across the world. Many think that the show was beautifully cast and was a faithful adaptation of the original show. Others think that the show was ruining the beauty of the original show and that it is a terrible remake of a masterpiece. I have not watched the show yet, but I am eager to see what Netflix has done. Another movie that has come out recently is Madame Web. Madame Web, since its release, has seen non-stop hate from viewers and has been clowned on as a terrible movie over and over again. The movie was received so poorly that many viewers have said that paying the theater ticket price was one of the worst mistakes of their lives. I, again, have not seen this movie, but I might just have to check it out just to see why so many people thought it to be one of the worst movies that they have ever watched. That's all for this week. Now, back to the host. Thank you, Vishab, for giving us a look at what's trending for this week. That's our show for today. Make sure to follow us on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, at GoodMorningCastAig, and check our our podcast, Coyote Call, now on YouTube. Be sure to tune in next week as we come to you from the STN convention in Long Beach. Bye! Bye.